In this video, I want to show you some of the more unusual, subtle ways that you can use the controls on this Marchant ACT-10M calculator. Most of this has to do with the stop button. At the moment it's not plugged in. By the way, this is a, a Belden power cord with a, an oval connector. Um, I think the standard is called a PH163 but I don't know the polarity of these uh, pins. Anyway, it's not plugged in at the moment and in this stage you might accidentally uh, press some of these buttons. And uh, yeah, before you plug it in you can release those buttons pressing the stop button. That way it's not going to do some funny calculation when you plug it in. There we go. But this also works when it is plugged in. If you accidentally press the reverse button, you can release it with this stop. Anyway, the stop button is normally used to stop a division. So let's do that. So it's already on the leftmost uh, tab. Let's do the standard division of 355 divided by 113 and the stop button will uh, abort the division at some point. Uh, I've set this switch to off so that the main register will not be cleared when the division ends. So I press the stop button. You may have noticed that it did complete the calculation for that digit. Um, so it didn't stop immediately but it stopped just before the moment it would have shifted the carriage to the left. I can now actually continue the calculation by pressing the auto button. It will just continue from this point on. But when, if I do that, it will clear the counter first. It always clears the counter first when you start a division. To stop that from happening, you can use the stop button. So you press down the stop button, then press the auto division button and while you're holding that down release the stop button then you can release the auto division. So you use a sort of a rolling motion over those keys. Let's do that. Yeah, so there you can see it's finished the, uh, finished the calculation. And uh, yeah, I can use that same, same mechanism, the same uh, technique, to, add, uh, to do another division and add the result to what's already here. So if I want to do, uh, say, one third and add that on, I do one in the main register. So I add that, but that will increment that digit, so I immediately press subtract to reduce that digit. But since the keyboard is cleared in between, that's fine. So now I've entered one in the main register without affecting the counter. So one divided by three. And again, I'll start the division, but use the stop button and that rolling motion to avoid clearing this counter. So, there you can see it's added that on. So this is approximately pi plus a third. I can now even just do calculations with this by... Uh, I can just add a number to that if I wanted to, just by entering it on the multiplier keys. So I can add one and a quarter, but just uh, entering one, two and five. Note that I have... Uh, put this to uh, shift to the left. So here we go. And uh, yeah, this, the result of this calculation is up here, but usually you want the result to be in the main register. But there is no automatic transfer of the, from the counter to the main register. 
but you can do something fairly simple to do to transfer it and that is you enter one in the on the keyboard flip this switch here to uh, to uh, subtract or reverse and now simply enter the number you see here and every time you enter a digit it gets added to the main register and subtracted from the counter So now I've transferred that number to the main register. You mustn't forget to then flip this switch back. The, the stop button is also used when you accidentally divide by zero. As we saw before, normally when you do the stop button, it'll only stop once it's finished calculating the current digit. But when you divide by zero, that's never going to finish. Nevertheless, you can stop that division just by pressing the stop button twice. Let me show that. I'll, I'll clear the keyboard and just start a division now. See, it's never going to stop. Just pressing the stop button twice kills the division anyway. So, that's all I wanted to show. Thank you for watching.